Did you know experts believe that as many as 67% of burglaries could actually be prevented if people had CCTV systems in their home? Did you also know in an average day, the average person is caught 300 times on CCTV cameras? CCTV is a huge part of modern life and the modern world with plenty of businesses deploying some sort of surveillance with this as a part of the system. But what exactly is CCTV and how do you use it most effectively? Stay tuned until the end for our bonus CCTV tip, which we use to professionally secure business premises. My name's Jake Evans with the Region Security Guarding channel here on YouTube. I wanna send a special shout out to everyone in the subscriber community. Thank you so much for taking a part of your day to join us. If you're not part of the community yet, you can just click that little red subscribe button. It's free and you'll never miss a video. CCTV TV stands for closed circuit television and is in essence a network of surveillance equipment that are all directly linked to one another. The reason it's called closed circuit is because of the way the network works. It is completely isolated and unlike something like public television which can be broadcast and picked up by any kind of receiver, CCTV cannot. It's completely isolated to its own network. As the signal is isolated it can be used to secure a premises by watching the cameras on there without anybody else being able to gain access. Now, there's there's a lot of nuance when it comes to CCTV with sort of small things like positioning and lenses which actually make a massive difference to both the legality and the effectiveness of how you actually use your CCTV. CCTV is typically employed by businesses rather than individuals and homeowners, however some places do actually require it by law such as like shopping malls and banks, that kind of area. However despite it typically being used by businesses we've seen more and more CCTV popping up in homes and homeowners deploying their own sort of CCTV systems in their homes to keep it safe from intruders. We'll get into the differences between how businesses and homes differ when it comes to CCTV, but for now, let's take a look at the nine most popular forms of CCTV on the market. First, we have the dome camera. Now, this is named aptly due to the fact that it is shaped like a dome. The advantage of this is it has a 360 degree field of vision, so you can view anywhere around it. It's also pretty discreet it's fairly small usually installation isn't terribly difficult and on top of that because of the glass exterior usually being darkened it's pretty difficult for criminals to see where the camera is actually pointed so as long as there's one in sight it acts as a pretty powerful visual deterrent second we have the bullet camera this is the classic CCTV camera depicted in various different films and the one that we all think of when we hear the word CCTV the advantage of these they are very visible cameras they're a very powerful visual deterrent and on on top of that they are also able to see very very far and they're also able to be put outside in harsh weather conditions. Another highly visible camera, the C-mount camera, is one equipped for harsh weather conditions and it has detachable lenses. The ability to change lenses is a game changer here. It allows you to customize entirely the way in which you put your CCTV camera up, either having a wide or very narrow focus of view. The PTZ or the pan, tilt and zoom camera is named due to the fact that you can pan the camera, you can tilt it up and down or you can zoom it in and out, it is fully remote controlled. With the touch of a button, any kind of guards or people monitoring the CCTV system can move the camera anywhere they want, and typically they tend to have higher quality lenses on them, being able to kind of make clear distinctions between different people. The day and night cameras pretty much do what they say on the tin. They are able to operate in both daytime and nighttime. They're pretty similar to various other CCTV systems, they just have a much higher sensitivity imaging chip. These cameras are especially useful for places where round the clock security is needed, places like construction sites where the nighttime is just as dangerous, if not more, than the daytime. One step above that, you have the infrared or night vision CCTV cameras. These are a very similar style to the day slash night cameras. However, they have a specific mode which allows to be seen in pitch black darkness. That's kind of where they're designed to be used. And not necessarily just low light like day and night ones are, but they're supposed to be used in, as I say, like pitch black, complete darkness. The only issue with these is they are a little bit more expensive. They tend to be than the day and night ones, but if you are in need of kind of ultra reliable piercing CCTV cameras, then these are the option for you. These are cameras that transfer their footage online over the internet, so you can easily access the live feed or previous footage on your phone or laptop, anything that can receive that kind of signal. They also store all the footage on what is called an NVR or a network video recorder so that you don't actually lose access to it if you do need to review it at a later date. Wireless CCTV cameras were originally created to reduce installation time they also create a much nicer tidier appearance so for places like stately homes where it kind of matters how uh, the security systems look on the property definitely a good option footage is also transferred across
across the internet for these cameras, similar to the network IP cameras from before. True to their name, the HD cameras offer the highest quality image available for CCTV cameras. They're most often used in places where you need to know who it is exactly is getting caught on CCTV. This could be banks, this could be casinos, that type of uh, area. So those are the nine most popular CCTV types on the market currently with a couple of overlaps in terms of where you're going to be using them, what features they all have and the different types. So as an example, like the day night has a little bit of overlap with the infrared. It really depends on your needs, whether it's going to be pitch black or whether it's just going to be a dark environment that you kind of work in. Next, we're going to be taking a look into using CCTV as a business and how that can be done effectively. So there are six things that you need to take into consideration when you are installing CCTV as a business, according to the ICO. These are thinking about how you'll respect people's privacy and uphold their rights, considering if you need to use audio, creating a document which explains your decisions, updating your company's policies, paying attention to how your CCTV is set up, and finally keeping on top of footage that you capture. All of this and more can be found in a link in the description, but basically the premise is that you have to be very wary and have a very good reason for installing CCTV as it can violate on staff and employees rights as people. Making sure your employees or your staff know exactly why you're installing it, where it's going to be installed, getting their kind of consent and their knowledge of that is really critical before you go ahead with actually installing these systems. This is a one day that basically they aren't surprised to actually be caught on CCTV and you aren't hit with a lawsuit. You also have to stay on top of your footage, making sure that you have a footage deletion policy. So after a period of let's say six weeks, you have to delete the footage as you don't need to keep the footage for any longer than you absolutely need for a specific environment. As an example, if you ran a bar and you were installing CCTV in order to prevent or monitor bar brawls, you wouldn't necessarily need to keep footage for any longer than a month because by then you will have already known, you'll have already had time to review the footage. Whilst there are several laws that govern how CCTV can be used, each business is different and has different surveillance needs. So just make sure that you're completely transparent with the way that you're using CCTV. TV, make sure that everyone that you work with knows and also make sure to put signage around so that anyone who comes on the property is aware that they are potentially being recorded. On the other hand, however, homes are a much simpler affair with home to home basis, basically having a similar kind of setup. For instance, typically at home, you'll have a CCTV setup, which is connected to the internet. This is so you can kind of access the live feed, access the footage through your phone, your laptop, your computer. It's just being able to use that ease of use at any point in the day. As a tip, uh, ensuring that your cameras on the front of your home are visible, making sure that you have a sign up is going to act as a visual deterrent. So if there is anyone potentially thinking of sneaking in and uh, breaking into your house, they're immediately going to see the signs, they're going to see the cameras and they're going to think twice about it. Also consider having them security systems like the ring doorbell and nest doorbell so you can actually communicate with the person on the other side. There may be times where somebody comes to your door, perhaps delivering a package that you don't initially recognize. You don't want to ring a false alarm there, so being able to communicate with them even when you're out the house is ideal for those situations. So we've discussed business CCTV, we've discussed home CCTV, and we've discussed the nine most popular types of CCTV. Now it's time for our bonus tip that we use to secure professional sites. Make sure you focus your efforts on video management, storage, and retrieval. Whilst this may seem obvious, in case of the worst, you need to know where exactly your videos are stored and how to gain access to them. You need to ask yourself questions like, do you intend on using cloud storage or hard drive? Do you have enough space? Do you have backups anywhere in case of power outages? Is the footage in an easy to access location to be tampered with? These are all elements that you desperately need to take into consideration when it comes to installing CCTV because nine times out of ten if there is a thief or criminal of some sort coming onto your site and to your home they've already taken into consideration that you have CCTV and so they've probably mapped out some way in order to tamper with get the footage retrieve it in some way like that so having multiple backups multiple storage facilities for your CCTV footage enables you to keep hold of that footage even if they think basically they've managed to bypass the system with that being said if if you did enjoy this video make sure to leave a like and a comment and consider subscribing if you haven't already make sure to check out some of our other videos there on the sidebar and on our channel but with that being said we'll see you guys next week